The main purpose of the Krebs cycle, which takes place in the matrix of the mitochondria, is to produce the electron carriers NADH and FADH2. Once these electron carriers are made, they're going to take the electrons and transport them to proteins that are on the inner membrane of that mitochondria. The proteins that receive these electrons are part of a series of proteins that we call the electron transport chain. There are four proteins that make up this chain and we're gonna look up close at what happens at the first two, which are called complex one and complex two. All of the NADH produced in the Krebs cycle or in glycolysis transports its electrons to complex one, which is shown by this reaction here, where NADH becomes NAD plus and loses two electrons that then go to complex one. Some resources are gonna talk about how the electrons move through complex one, but in my opinion, those details are completely unnecessary. And all you need to know is that these electrons eventually make their way to this molecule here, which is coenzyme Q, also called ubiquinone. Coenzyme Q will gain those electrons as shown here and become ubiquinol, which can also be written as QH2. When we transfer the electrons, it gives off energy, and that energy is used to pump hydrogens from the matrix to the inner membrane space. And there are four protons pumped every time an NADH gives its electrons to complex one. At complex two, we have a similar thing happening, but this time instead of NADH, it's FADH2 that is the source of those electrons. Like at complex one, these electrons move to a molecule of ubiquinone and turn it into ubiquinol. If you remember from the Krebs cycle, complex two is also succinate dehydrogenase. So that FADH2 that is produced by succinate dehydrogenase is used to transfer its electrons to coenzyme Q. And complex two does not pump any protons into the inner membrane space. The ubiquinol produced a complex one and the ubiquinol produced a complex two move over to complex three and they're going to transfer their electrons here in a process called the Q cycle. I'll go over the Q cycle in a separate video and please let me know in the comments if there are separate topics that you would like to see covered.